Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sci-fi panel. Um, we'll use the knife tool, also some modifiers, and a free add-on. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add a plane with Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Now click this gizmo for orthographic top view and I'm gonna scale it on the X axis by pressing S then X now control A and apply the scale. This is because Blender doesn't know that we transform the mesh in object mode and the problem with this is that some tools and modifiers won't work correctly. Also, the textures may look stretched. Okay, so now in edit mode, press K to enable the knife tool. Just click to cut and enter to accept. But um, we can also enable angle constraint. Just click, then hit A and now we can cut straight lines okay so i'm gonna start here uh, click then hit a and also here and from here will be the same process I just want to give the shape of the panels. Now press A, then control B to bubble. With face selection, shift click to deselect these faces. Then hit X and delete them. Now switch back to object mode by pressing tab. Let's go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier increase thickness and now I'm gonna cut here and delete the face also here Hold shift to select 
these edges Control B but for this I want a thinner line and again delete the faces Now I'm going to add a new plane, scale it on the x-axis, the same size, and move it down. Next, I'm going to move some faces. In here, press I to inset, X and delete. With Shift A, add a cylinder. Now press R, then X, and type 90 on the numpath. S to scale it down Now S then X Right click and shade auto smooth Next I'm gonna add a new plane In edit mode, press M and merge at center. With vertex selection, hit E to extrude. Again E and repeat the process. Now select these vertices and hit Ctrl Shift B to bevel. With the mouse wheel, increase the number of segments. Now switch back to object mode, right click and convert to curve. Let's go to curve properties under geometry, lower the resolution and increase depth. Right click and shade smooth. Now we can add a bevel modifier. I'm gonna use JMesh tools. This is a free add-on. Just download the zip file. Then go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Click Install and look for the zip file. Once installed, enable by checking the box next to it. Now hit N and look for JMesh select the object and click bevel I'm gonna use only one segment right click and shade auto smooth in the modifier we can adjust the amount and also the segments We can also use the boolean modifier here, but first I'm gonna apply the solidify modifier. Now select this tool, switch to add cylinder, hold shift and click, release shift and drag the mouse up and click to accept. Now in edit mode, I'm going to duplicate with shift D, again shift D. Now with the eyedropper, select the mesh and hit difference. Right click and shade auto smooth. 
We can also use, for example, a cube. Hit difference. And again, we need to shade auto smooth. If you need, you can adjust the amount in the bevel modifier. Now I'm going to add a rectangle here. Delete the top and bottom faces. Now hit A to select all the faces, then Alt E, extrude faces along normals. Move it down, click difference and shade out of smooth. I'm gonna add another here and click difference. Now let's add a plane, S, then X, in edit mode, press Ctrl R, use the mouse wheel to increase the number of cuts, let's switch back to object mode and apply the scale. Now with all the faces selected, press I to insert, open this menu and select individual, X and delete the faces. Now add the solidify modifier, increase thickness, now shift click and select these edges. I'm gonna move them to the right, select these edges. and move to the opposite side. If you want to export this mesh, select all the objects, right click and convert to mesh. This will collapse all the modifiers. Now in edit mode, press A, then press Ctrl T, and this will triangulate the mesh. To create the UVs, uh, press U, and we can use Smart UV Project, and now you can export it for texturing. But if you want to use only Blender materials, I will use Cube Projection, and I have a tutorial where I explain how to create a metal material in Blender. A link to that in video description. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.